work together. And we're going to do it with as many people as possible. And it's all about a special event called Peterloo. What's Peterloo? And what's with the hat? Yeah, everything will become clear. Hold on to this. Yeah. Hold on to this. Are we ready? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> We've come to part of Manchester called St Peter's Fields. This is where Peterloo happened. And here's a plaque that marks the spot. So what actually happened? So, in 1819, which is 200 years ago this year, this was a massive open field, big enough for around 60,000 men, women and children to gather together to protest. What were they protesting about? Well, life was very hard for ordinary people. Most people were very poor and had to work very hard in factories for little money. They lived in bad housing and food was just too expensive. It was hard for ordinary people to change this because the country was run by Parliament. But only rich landowners, and that was nearly all men back then, had the vote. So Parliament only had to worry about what would make them happy. The people of Greater Manchester had no one to look after them in Parliament, as Manchester didn't even have an MP, a Member of Parliament. And they wanted to be heard. They wanted to be able to vote and have their say. So people decided to protest. Women, men and children walked from towns and villages in and around Greater Manchester. People came from Altrincham, ashton under Lyon, Atherton, Bolton, Bury, Chadderton, Crompton, Eccles, Failsworth, G Cross, Hayward, Erham, Lees, Lee, Middleton, Mosley, Oldham, Rochdale, Royton, Saddleworth, Salford, Staleybridge, Stockport, Stretford, Ermston, West Horton, Whitefield and Wigan. Some walking nearly 30 miles just to join the protest. Although it was a serious protest, it was also a real celebration. People were happy to be coming together to make change, to, to make their lives better and make the world a fairer place. When they came together, they were feeling hopeful and proud. They wore their smartest clothes, played music and sang songs. They truly believed that they could change things for the better and improve their lives. Right, we're going to have to stop here. Safety first. Press the button, someone. All the protesters had come together to be heard, but also to listen. A famous speaker called Henry Hunt had been asked to speak to the crowd. He believed in universal suffrage, which meant every man having the vote. Every man? What about women? Oddly, that's what universal suffrage meant back then, men having the vote. But there were those already arguing for women to have the vote too. Anyway, back to Peter Lou. Henry Hunt famously wore a white hat to show he had purity of thought. Oh, that's what the hat's about. He didn't believe in violence, just people getting rights and having a better life. It was a very peaceful protest. The crowds felt powerful and happy, but not everyone was happy. The government and the people who ran Manchester, the local authorities, judges, mill and business owners, they were very unhappy. They were worried about how many people were coming together to protest for change. They wanted to keep things just the way they were. So they decided to do whatever was needed to stop the protest. They sent armed men to break it up and arrest Henry Hunt. When the people tried to stop them, large numbers of soldiers on horseback galloped into the crowd with sharp sabre swords drawn. Nobody can be certain of the exact number of people who were killed or badly hurt. Historians now think 18 people died and at least 700 were injured. That's terrible. Did people give up after that? Well, that could have been the end of it all. People could have been too scared to carry on, but they didn't give up. All over the country, people were horrified about what had happened at St Peter's Field. A few days later, People were calling it Peterloo, after a famous battle called Waterloo. People carried on protesting for change and for the right to vote, risking prison or worse. People were inspired to carry on by those whose lives were lost at Peterloo. It took many more years until all the men, rich and poor, got the vote. What about women? Well, that took even longer, and that is a whole other brilliant and inspiring story. But it can all be traced back to Peterloo. What shall we do now? Well, now it's time to make some art. And this is Central Library in Manchester. 
you're going to help show people what to do here because it's just around the corner from where Peterloo actually happened and it's a really nice place. Are we making the art now? Yep. We're trying to get as many people as possible to make one of these. They're very simple and anyone can join in. You don't need any special materials and you don't need to be an amazing artist. You just need to want to join in. First, you need to think about the things you want to change to make the world a better and fairer place. Like the people at Peterloo. Exactly. You might like to mind map this, write a list or chat about it with your friends. I've made a worksheet to help if schools or groups want to use it. Take your time to really think about what needs to change to improve your life, your community, or maybe it's changes that will help the whole planet that you want to think about. What worries you? What needs to change? When you have all your ideas together, you can turn it into an art piece. Find yourself some paper big enough to lay your hand and your forearm on. You can stick pieces of paper together if you need to. You can use anything you have, even an old bit of newspaper would do. Lay your hand and the lower part of your arm on the paper. Your fingertips should be at the very top. Use a pen, pencil or crayon, again, anything you have to draw around your hand and your arm. You might want a friend to help you or just do it yourself. Once you've drawn around your arm, you start to decorate it using your ideas about what changes you want to see. It might be just one important thing that you want to say over and over again, or it might be a long list. You can use words or pictures. Fill your arm with an essay or poem about what needs to improve if you like, or cut out pieces of paper or pictures to make a collage. It's yours and your moment to have your voice and say what you feel. It could be colourful or black and white, simple or busy, as long as it's about positive change that helps to make the world kinder and fairer, then it can't be wrong. So anyone can do this? Everyone. Everyone in our class? Everyone. Everyone in our year? Everyone. Everyone in our school? Yep. Everyone in any primary school? Yes. Everyone in secondary school? Definitely. Everyone in a college? Everyone. Everyone at university? Anyone. What about my brownie group? Yes. What about my football team? Yeah, they can join what in. What about my mates down at the park? Really? Everyone. What about the people at my mosque? Everyone. What about people at my church? Everyone. The people at my youth group? Yep. What about my granddad? Yes. My nana? Yes. My foster carer? Of course. My mom? Everyone. My dad? Everyone. My brother? Everyone. My sister? Everyone. But I don't want my sister to join in. She's annoying. Everyone who wants to can. Hang on. What about someone who doesn't have an arm? Can they join in? What? Well, if you don't have an arm to do around, how do you join in? Good point. Um, well, they can still join in. How? Uh, um, ah, they can draw around their prosthetic. What if they don't have a prosthetic? Well, if they don't have a hand or a prosthetic, they must be very clever and resourceful, so they'll come up with their own ideas how they can join in, OK? OK. Can it be in any language? Yes, yes, of course. I can do it in my home language? That would be great. So, basically anyone can join in? Yes, anyone, everyone and anyone who wishes to make the world a nicer, fairer and kinder place can join in. Have you lot finished yet? Yes! yes! Right, good. When you're happy with your artwork, you cut it out as carefully as you can. Turn it over and write something about yourself on the back. It could be your name, where you live, not your address, but your town or city. You could put your school or club. You might like to write how old you are or write a line or two about yourself or, or why you want to join in. Just something that makes it yours. Artists always sign their work after all. When you finish, if you want, you can pose with your hand and take a selfie or just a picture of your artwork. Then you can put it on social media with the hashtag Peterloo2019, if you like so we can see each other's artwork as it's being made. Great, is that it? No, no, not quite. We need it all to come together, not just online, but for real. Time for the hat again. You need to put your artwork in an envelope, addressed to... The People's History Museum, which is... The People's History Museum, Left Bank, Spinning Field, Manchester, M33ER. 
Send it any time between now and the 1st of August, and the nice folk at the museum will keep it safe until we put it all up here in the amazing People's History Museum in magnificent Manchester, ready for the 200-year anniversary of Peterloo. Artists call this an installation. In fact, it's a mass participation, a site-specific installation. That's a mouthful. Hopefully, there'll be loads of them for people to come and see. How many will there be? I've no idea. It just depends how many people want to join in. Could there be hundreds? Possibly. Thousands? Could be. 60,000 like at Peterloo. Ah, oh, well, that would be nice. We'll just have to wait and see. Now that people know how to join in, it's over to the people. We want to bring all the artwork together like those 60,000 people came together at Peterloo. We're making one giant united art piece. Many voices are a powerful thing. We want to fill the People's History Museum with as many voices as we can. Children, adults, young and old, raising their hands to remember Peterloo and the way ordinary people struggled to make sure we can be heard. A riot of colour and ideas with people coming together, not just from all over Greater Manchester, but from anywhere and everywhere in the country or even the world. Right, that's it. Back to school then. Aww.